Hello, 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 what is up you guys? So, I'm here to unbox the My Little Pony Hidden Dissectable Series 2. Now each blind box goes for $12.99, but I got the whole case of 12, so that's $155.88. I opened up series 1 on TikTok a while ago, and I also hear that they're starting on series 3, so hopefully we get some more new characters. So in series 2 we get 6 new characters, well technically 5 since we had Twilight in series 1 just as an alicorn, and with these figures is that half their skeleton is exposed on the other side. So I got all 12 of them out of the box, and this is just the top of their boxes, and this is the front. So for the new characters that we could get, we can get Big Macintosh, Granny Smith, Cheerilee, Derpy Hooves, Trixie, and Twilight. And in typical blind box, blind bag fashion, there are some rare figures. We got Spike and Apple Bloom, Scootaloo and Sweetie Belle, and we also have this Enchanted Sonic Rainboom Rainbow Dash. Alright, box number one. Let's see who we get first up. Now this is a card that shows you how to register your figure into their app or something. There's a sticker on the bottom of the base of the figure, which I personally don't do. Maybe if they come out with like series three or four, who knows. Now this little silver packet has their little card in it with the figure. This is their stand that they all come with. Of course the pegs are gonna be different for each figure. And I grabbed my scissors at the beginning, but I remember that they have like little notches in them to where you can just tear them off. So now I'm just looking for it. Okay, there it is. All right, so let's just rip that open and see the first character that we get. Oh, we got Cheerly. Also, little plastic bubbles are different from like series one. Look at this. Oh my God, her eye is huge. But look at the paint and the detail on this. Oh my God, look at the skeleton. Wow. And this little silver packet has their little card that has the figure on it. And I can't wait to see a little artwork for... Oh, wow, I love it. I wish the rainbows were a bit more vivid. Is that a sticker? It looks glossy, is it? Okay, no, it's not a sticker. I thought it was for some reason. So for their stands, there is one peg that is larger than the other. So I just try to line that up and just eyeball it. Sometimes they look roughly the same. And I have to do this little wobble method to get them like on their stands instead of just shoving them on there. And voila, she stands. All right, so time for box number two. I really wish I had like a proper box cutter instead of just using scissors. All right, get all that out, get the stand out. And now let's try to get our little figure out and see who we get. And it's going to be cheerily, seriously, the second one and already a double. Wow, how do you like that? All right, let's try box number three and we should hopefully get a new character. All right, I see the stand is different. So yes, we should be getting a new character here. All right, just tear open the bag and we are getting, oh my gosh, Big Mac. Oh my God, look at the red, it's, it's so bright. I love Big Mac, one of my favorite stallions aside from Shining Armor, but look at his skeleton. I just wish he was standing instead of sitting for this figure. Now Big Mac was a lot more easier to get on the stand because he's sitting and I wasn't worried about like breaking him, but you know, when they're on the stand, they're on there good. Here's his little card. All right, time for box number four. All right, tear open the bag and let's see who we're getting this time. Oh my goodness, we got Trixie. Oh my gosh, I love her blue colors. Her skeleton, even look at her cutie mark. They even added the tiny sparkles. This is on a whole new level. Seriously, I can never get over this skeleton. All right, and here's a card and she's just called Trixie instead of like Trixie Lulamoon and like all the other toys. All right, opening box number five. All right, open the bag and let's see who we're getting. Okay, we got Twilight. Now, Twilight's kind of bittersweet because we got Twilight in series one, just as an alicorn, this is her as a unicorn. 
so I would prefer if we got like a different unicorn character like Starlight or Sunset. Here's her little card. So now the only ones we're missing is Granny Smith and Derpy. Don't look at my nails, I know they're bad. Alright, box number six. Alright, let's see who we're getting now. And it's another Twilight. Alrighty, so box number seven. Let's see who we're getting now. Alright, so it is going to be Big Macintosh again. Alright, time to unbox box number eight. All right, let's see who this is going to be. Oh, we got Granny Smith. This looks so detailed. Oh my goodness, especially with Granny. And here's a little card. All right, opening box number nine. All right, let's see who we're getting now. I only need one more and it is, it's Trixie again. All right, time for box number 10. All right, so I'm gonna open this and let's see who I'm getting this time. Okay, this feels different. There's a different texture in, oh my goodness, I got one of the special edition figures. For Sweetie Belle and Scootaloo, they get a special stand that's a heart that's been cut in half to fit both of them. Now because Scootaloo and Sweetie Belle are much smaller considering their age, they were very tricky to get onto the stand, like very tricky. On the side that has their skeleton because again they're cut in half, I thought I was going to break their legs and I'm glad that I didn't, I had to really take my time on this one. But now this is going to make me want the other half of the heart, that's Apple Bloom and Spike. And here's their little card with both of them on it. Alright, time for box number 11. Alright, when we got... Oh, we got Derpy! Oh my goodness. Ooh, she's like pink on the inside. Wow. Oh my gosh. Ooh, look at her cutie mark. Her tail is so smooth. Oh my god. And look at her face. Look at her face. I mean, half of her face is gone, but still, look at her face. Now, here's her little card, and I'm surprised she was actually given a name with this merchandise, considering how she was always given like a picture of a muffin. All right, the final box, box number 12. Now, I want to have high hopes that we're going to get another Chase figure, but considering how Series 1 went, I'm pretty sure it's just going to be a double, and it is. At least it's derpy, though. Alright, so I got all six characters and one special edition character. Now, I love these. I love the whole concept behind them, like the design of like half their skeleton is exposed. I love it. And of course, if they do make a Series 3, of course, I'm going to get it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!